What's up folks and welcome to another video in which we'll show you how to upgrade your laptop. This time we'll be upgrading another new addition to the realm of budget gaming laptops. The Acer Aspire 7 here. This new gamer is a bit of a unicorn since it comes equipped with an AMD Ryzen U CPU, which you'll more often find in smaller ultrabooks. On the GPU side, Acer has opted for a quite powerful Nvidia GTX 1650 though, which should do well for 1080p gaming. This unlikely CPU and GPU couple is one of the most affordable options for gaming laptops right now. As usual, we would like the Acer Aspire 7 to aspire to a bit more. So we'll show you in a thorough step-by-step -step guide how to upgrade the SSD and the RAM of this device. Before you start, make sure that you have all the right parts to open and upgrade the Aspire 7. You'll need a normal Phillips head screwdriver and a guitar pick or a spudger. To upgrade the RAM, you should get a DDR4 3200MHz module in the SO DIMM form factor. Ideally, it matches the module that is already installed in the Aspire 7. You can check out your RAM clock with the tool hardware info or by opening up the laptop and taking a look at the sticker on the side of the RAM stick. To replace the main SSD, make sure that you get a PCIe 3.0 SSD in the 202080 form factor. Before we open up the laptop, do not forget to shut it down completely and separate it from its charger. I know we are being kept and obvious here, but we can't stress this point enough since there will always be people who open up their laptop while it's still in sleep mode. Also, ground yourself by touching the radiator or another metal structure in your home. After completing these necessary chores, let's get to the fun part and loosen the 13 screws that hold the back cover of the laptop in place. Once you've loosened the screws, pry the back cover open with a spudger or guitar pick of your choosing. The best point of entry for our model was right here on the side of the Acer. Now we've removed the back cover and can take a short tour of the inside. First up, credit where credit is due. Acer has implemented a pretty neat and clean design. The heat pipes and general cooling solution are also massive for this CPU-GPU combination and managed to keep the 5500U around a neat 80 degrees Celsius mark in our stress test. From the fans, you can follow the heat pipes and get to the two RAM slots underneath. To upgrade the RAM, take your new module and gently put it down in the slot and lightly press down on it. You should hear a satisfying click that tells you that you've done well. If you want to replace the already installed RAM, simply lift these tiny hooks here to the sides and take out the existing stick. To the left of the RAM slot you should see the PCIe SSD. To replace it, loosen this tiny screw right here and take it out of its M2 connector. When you get a new SSD, make sure that it uses the 202080 form factor and connects via PCI Express. Simply place the new SSD in the connector, press it down and fasten the screw again. Don't forget to install Windows from a USB stick and download all the necessary drivers for your Aspire 7 from Acer's website. A bit more to the left of the SSD you will see the Wi-Fi card, which you can replace the same way as the SSD if the need ever arises. Acer gets another big plus from us for the repairability of the battery, as it is only held in place by two Philip head screws and can be easily replaced at a later date. All in all, Acer has adopted a really user-friendly approach with the Aspire 7 that can also be seen in the cable for the power connector here. It has a little label on it that tells you the exact name of the spare part, so you shouldn't have trouble finding a replacement if the proprietary power connector ever gets damaged. So as you can see, we're quite happy with this budget gaming laptop and can recommend an upgrade for anyone who's interested in it. To finish this upgrade, just put the back cover back on, press it down until you hear the hook snap in place and tighten the 13 screws again. And that's it! We opened the Acer Aspire 7 and upgraded its RAM and SSD. I for one really enjoyed this little operation and hope you did as well. If there are any remaining questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Also ring the bell button and subscribe to our channel if you want to know when another upgrade video comes out. We'll surely be back with more English language content for you guys. So see you soon and have a good one!